Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dana and today I want to show you how I uh, prepared this awesome and delicious uh, meal with meatballs and mash on top. So um, I will start with the uh, meatballs and I have 500 grams of um, uh, minced meat, beef and pork, but you can use chicken or turkey if you want, one onion, some uh, freshly, uh, um, uh, some fresh parsley, 150 grams of cabbage, a carrot, uh, two eggs, three cloves of garlic. I will add three tablespoons of flour and lots of spices, pepper, thyme, cumin and sweet paprika. And I am not gonna add any salt because for the moment I decided not to eat uh, with, uh, with salt. So, but uh, you can uh, add uh, 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 half a teaspoon if you like. Using food processor, I'm gonna mix garlic, onion, and parsley in a really fine paste. Cabbage, I'm gonna chop it up with a knife. You can use a mandolin if you want. It's up to you. I just use the knife and I try to chop it really fine. Carrot, I'm gonna grate it. And all of these, I'm gonna add them in a bowl and mix them up. If you use salt, uh, try to knead the cabbage with that salt. It will soften it uh, up uh, pretty good. Add meat. I will add now that paste that I made with onion, garlic and parsley. I will also add um, eggs to bind everything together. So I decided to use two eggs for all this uh, mixture. Spices of your choice. I used uh, paprika, thyme and um, and what else and cumin powder yeah but you can add some garlic powder onion powder it's just up to you I will add uh, some pepper if you like them a bit spicier you can add uh, some cayenne so add flour as well and knead everything together and uh, let this mixture in the fridge for about 30 minutes the meatballs with, uh, will be uh, this way, uh, really flavorful and delicious. I will preheat uh, after this the oven at 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit because I'm gonna bake these meatballs. So I'm gonna shave from that mixture six meatballs um with uh, my hands you can moist, uh, moisten moisten uh, your hands with some water or uh, some olive oil it's up to you so just shape six meatballs place them in a dish in which you're gonna bake uh, them in the oven and in the middle of them i'm gonna make uh, like a dip like a dent I'm gonna shape them like boats, let's say. I hope I, uh, I make myself uh, clear here with my explanation. So with fingers, just press in the middle these meatballs and shape them like boats. Okay, this is better, this is better, okay? And I'm gonna bake them for about 20 minutes in, uh, in the oven. In the beginning, I've told you that I'm gonna make a mash as well. So I need uh, five potatoes, floury potatoes. I will add some uh, mint paste. You can replace it with uh, fresh mint. Uh, about 100 grams of cheese. And I have mozzarella, parmesan and cheddar, allspice, and I'm not gonna add any salt. First, I will put these potatoes to boil with the peel on. So cover them with water and uh, boil them. Grind all spice with the mortar and the pestle. 
until you have a really fine powder when uh, potatoes are boiled just peel them up careful don't uh, burn your your hands I don't have patience to wait for these potatoes to cool down so I, I peel them right away I add uh, over them um, allspice a teaspoon of that mint paste and I will grate uh, this uh, cheese. I will use about 100 grams of, uh, of cheese, cheddar, mozzarella, and some uh, parmesan and mash everything together. They will be uh, delicious. Of course, everything with cheese is, uh, is amazing. So mix everything. And I will shape uh, with my hands six uh, me uh, meatballs, uh, but made from uh, from this mash. And I'm gonna I'm gonna need also about um, two tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. And I'm gonna mix this tomato paste with about 150 milliliters of uh, hot water. I will take uh, the meatballs out uh, from the oven and place those mashed uh, balls on top. My English is failing today, but I hope you will understand everything. So I am placing the mash balls on top of the meatballs in that dent that I made uh, previously and I will pour that uh, tomato uh, sauce over them. Of course we grate some cheese on top and I'm gonna bake this again in uh, the same oven, preheated oven, for about 15 minutes. This is how they look after they are, they are baked. Pre uh, put some uh, parsley on top and they are ready to serve like this or with your favorite uh, salad. They are delicious and easy to prepare. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you here next time with another recipe. Bye bye.